ahead and I'm coming out with my shave of the day for today. It's November 17th, 2017. And I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for the shave today. I definitely do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm not too, doing too bad uh, myself. Uh, my wife and I actually took some PTO t uh, days today just to kind of relax. You know, it's been a long year. I haven't taken a, well, I've had days off since then, but I haven't taken a PTO day since June. And I got a bunch left over, so I figured why not? I might as well. You know, did a little bit of shopping and whatnot today. Wanted to look around uh, in Marshall's. We went, uh, she wanted to get like perfume there or something. And I was trying to look for some shaving stuff because I definitely see like people always post on Facebook that they, you know, find like tubs of Parasso or whatever there for on sale or brushes. And I didn't see any, but I didn't get to look really hard either. But <laughs> so just a little bit of <laughs> that's what's up with me today. And then I did want to get my shave in here. I got about four days worth of growth, somewhere around there. So I think, the, yeah, I lost my shave this on Monday. And I don't know, I just been busy. I just hadn't had time. We'd be getting home late from work and stuff like that. So just haven't had enough time to really to want to spend some time in the bathroom here. But we're definitely on to it now. And uh, <clears throat> just going to go over some of the equipment we'll be using for this shave today. On the hardware side, I'm going to be going back and using this, uh, my Slim Adjustable 1964. I haven't used it in a while here, but I figured I'd go back to it. Try it out, you know. And uh, the blade I have in here is just the no-name brand. I believe this is a rebranded Persona Red. It just came in a, where is it here? Like this uh, thing of blades here. I got it at like CVS or something like that. But it said made in Israel, so I'm pretty sure it's Persona Red. But last shave I had on it was pretty good, so we'll see how, how it goes this time around. And uh, on the shave here, I'm going to be going on setting 9. I don't know if I'll reduce or what, but I just figured I'd stick with that. It usually seems to be working pretty well for me here. The brush I'm using today is the Haircut and Shave Co. brush. It's got the faux ivory handle here. 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. So I got some good density. It's a uh, got some good backbone, not too floppy. Uh, make it really whips up a good lather here. I like this a lot. Check them out. Haircut and Shave Co. on Amazon. They're Prime eligible too, which is nice for around 17, 18 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, on the soap side, I'm gonna be going back to this. I haven't used this in a while either. I figured I'd go with it. <clears throat> kind of a cold day, colder than it's been. Just a little above freezing, not quite 40 degrees. It's the uh, Taconic Shave Bay Rum. And uh, this has got a good scent on it. I do like this a lot. <clears throat> From what I've read online, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a sweeter Bay Rum. This is the only Bay Rum I have, but it's a real nice scent. I do like that a lot. Uh, and Taconic, this is made in the Hudson Valley, New York. And it looks like, though, it's like glycerin, like puck. You see there? They press it's real hard but it uh i believe when i first got it, it was very slick even just it came in like a, a wrapped package and it was very slick to even hold and i th feel like these uh build up some pretty good lathers and stuff like that so going with that here <clears throat> then on the aftershave side i figured I'd go with the skin bracer uh it doesn't necessarily go with the bay run but i just like it it's a Real nice stuff. I love the scent on it. It's got a little bit of menthol in it, so it cools you down a little bit. Real nice. <clears throat> and then the balm here, I'm using uh, the Nivea Men. Let's see, what is that? The Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. So this is relatively new to the den here. It's uh, definitely got a nice scent. Very lotion-y, though. I wouldn't say it really has much of a scent on its own. But it uh, feels real good in the face. I definitely like this a little bit more than the, uh, the Nivea Men Cream. That I have here like this is good but I feel like this is a little bit better okay so that's some uh, uh, software in the hardware I'm using for the shave today so we can go ahead and get this uh, shave started so let's go ahead and uh, rock the shave out so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just run some hot water through this brush get it uh, nice and hydrated here then we'll start uh, loading the brush in the pump I feel like that's pretty good give it a couple good shakes Open this up. Start building up the ladder here. Or getting it loaded, rather. There you 
you can see it's get pretty good there. I'm gonna go around 30 seconds or so. Yeah, just a little, a little more, not too much longer though. Yeah, I have a feeling that'll be good. It looks like it's uh, way down those bristles. So we'll go with that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little more hot water in the face here. Okay. I'm just gonna bring this face painted on a little bit first. Just to kind of get that base coat down. water and start building the ladder here. Yeah, this Taconic is a pretty reasonably priced. I believe I got three of these for $30 off of walmart.com they do sell on amazon but i got them off of walmart.com in particular because i believe i won a gift card at work for 25 bucks and i figured see what i can find on uh walmart.com and I almost got to back, but I got these instead because I got three of them instead of just the one. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? You know, a couple different soaps have a few different, diff you know, scents instead of just the one. In that case, it might have been the quantity over quality, but hey, not that this is bad. I can go with that. Pretty creamy. <clears throat> okay, so first pass here going uh, with the grain for me, that's going down pretty much. Yeah, still pretty smooth here. I think with this razor, it helps. Having in a setting nine with the aggressiveness, it can make pretty much a lot of blades pretty smooth. But <clears throat> yeah, that's uh slick I gotta say it makes a nice lather the scent's real nice I like that it's probably my of all the things about the soap the scent is probably my favorite like maybe not my favorite overall I just say you know that's my favorite attribute of the soap is the scent it's definitely nice I was even looking on uh, Amazon at Taconic. I think I was just looking up shave sticks, just out of curiosity. And they have a couple on Amazon. Oh, for around maybe 12 or $15, something along those lines. With a couple of scents that, I, that sound actually pretty interesting. It's like Urban Woods and a couple other things. Or another one that, uh, what was it? Yeah, the other one's kind of like it had like a sword Excalibur, I think it was called. It sounded nice. But on Amazon, I think I can only find them in a shave stick, not a puck. Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. 
Because next time I go on Amazon, I want to get a stick. Like Arco, probably. <clears throat> or like a Pall Mall stick. Or like Latoha. Or Tabac. I don't know. Maybe one of those or all of the above, you know what I mean? Eventually here. Okay, so first pass is looking pretty good there. As long as my razor doesn't go in the sink. Lather for pass number two. I'm really not uh, rinsing off between passes. I just don't feel the need to really nowadays. I used to, but I don't feel like it now. Feels like if I do that, I might be rinsing off some of that residual slickness that's there. That's looking pretty dang good. I'll put just a little water in there, just let it sit. <clears throat> Go for pass two, across the green. I might do like a double across just to get it real nice and close. So that went double. Like, do one way across and the other way again. One pass, you know what I mean? I feel like that'll get you a nice close because sometimes I feel like <clears throat> when I don't do that, I'm going across, catching it like in certain spots where maybe across another cross the grain pass would have helped. Careful. I almost got my lip. Went a little too far up my lip, my mouth right there. Not quite though. And if you're gonna get it, boy, this would get it. Because this is as wide as this. It's the highest setting on this razor. Right here a little bit. <clears throat> a little water in my face. nice. I really like it. It's got a nice spicy scent to it. Eh? I do like a nice spice. It actually, some, this and after might even smell kind of similar. A little bit. <clears throat> oh, and that actually reminds me, uh, somebody, I, uh, post one of my shave of days on some picture, one of the Facebook groups. And somebody was commenting, oh, after I like that stuff. Like, I wish they they made a cologne out of it. I was saying, I was like, well, from what I hear, from what I hear the AFTA <clears throat> smells like the original formula Old Spice. And the guy, well, this, again, scent is kind of, you know, to each his own. <clears throat> Could be a little different for everybody, but he said he owned a lot of Old Stock Old Spice, and they weren't quite the same. So, I could be wrong there. <laughs> I could be right. Who knows? But, <clears> that's <throat> interesting. So, maybe this is more of a Bay Rummy. I don't know. I would definitely recommend taking a look here. I know Flash commented he's the U.S. only product. That really stinks. But, yeah, I do. And it's super cheap, too. I'm surprised you can't, like, on eBay or something. I feel like somebody should have it available. Because it's nice stuff. I do like it. Third pass going uh, against the grain here. Oh, 
don't think I can hear him bump. I think he just ripped up some hair or something. Yeah, that's it turned out too bad for four days worth of growth because usually it's whew, hardcore. Really shaves me pretty tuggy and you know, stuff like that just because my hair grows. Like, it's so tough. Good there. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, my family on Thursday we'll all get together for Thanksgiving at a family member's house. We like desserts, <clears throat> and we started to oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Take a drink here. Old Diet Coke. But. We're doing Secret Santa. And, uh, my cousin's wife always does it on Elfster. It's a website, elfster.com. Where you can have everybody in the family sign up. And you can put on wish lists and stuff like that. And, of course, I'm, like, one of the few people that put stuff up, and it's all wet shaving stuff. It's all like razors and soap and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I hope they'll get me something off the list. Last year, I put only one thing on the list because it was a good price and everything. And they totally didn't get me what I put on there. It's a couple t-shirts from the website. Nope. <laughs> Got like a water bottle and a vinyl sticker or something. I'm like, oh, thanks. I appreciate it, but <laughs> I would have preferred. <laughs> but yeah. So looking forward to that. I should really actually, too, maybe like get an Amazon link for a phone holder for the mirror right here so I can get a more heads-on view. I, you know, this works out pretty good, but you can't quite see everything that I'm doing, so. But I'll come back here uh, for some pickups if I need any. I might, you know. Just feel around. Right here. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Oh, got my foot right there on that pickup. It's kind of a weird spot. <laughs> Feels like if I want to get close there, I have to go over it a few times and. It always gets me a little bit, not too bad, but a little weeper, weepish. Not too bad, though. Okay, so I'm going to, that's feeling pretty good, though. I feel like that's good. So I'm going to wipe off the soap here. Pretty good. Okay, so get my face wet here and just go over with Alan quick. I don't think I need those little little bleeders that'll help close them up right here. Yeah, stings a little bit there. Just uh, pat that off here. 
The arm didn't get it, the aftershave will. <clears throat> so the skin bracer here. <clears throat> this is good stuff, but you see that restrictor hole is huge. It's such a pain in the butt. So you got to do what the Suffolk shaver recommended to me. So I recommend everybody too, because it works so well for me. You got to put your finger over that big hole and just make it smaller. There we go. So much better here. Try my lip there, right? I might thought I well, I didn't get it, but something. Yeah, that's nice. It looks like a great scent, and the menthol is just just enough, not too much, just enough to make you feel cool. Very nice. Okay, and the balm I'm using here again, the Nivea Men. just be very gentle with putting this down here I can see, let's see it coming out it's kind of liquidy that should be enough hopefully yeah it feels good not too much excellent stuff <clears throat> Just over here. Yeah, pretty, pretty close shave. A little too close right here, but that's fine. Otherwise, overall, not too bad at all. Kind of a bit of a blemish here. For some reason, I did get little blemishes right there, but nothing to worry about. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, shave of the day for today. So I did uh, want to say thank you again for checking out the video here. I definitely do appreciate that. Uh, please like and comment below. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely appreciate those. And again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shaves.